In this video, I will show you how I recreated this. Here I added my clip to the timeline. I have created this with AI. The application name is Verbo. Let's fit this image into the canvas size. Let's add a scale keyframe here. Now move 20 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, increase the clip size as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we have zoom out animation. Let's copy this curve for future use. Now we will apply zoom blur effect. At the first frame of this layer, add strength keyframe. Now here add one more and decrease the strength value to 0%. Paste previously copied curves. Let's adjust the strength value a little bit more here. Now we will move to the next animation. I have created a new project for this animation, and also I added my files to the timeline. Now we have to adjust all these layer Z-axis positions. Let's hide these layers for a moment. Adjust these layers Z-axis positions as shown. Let's set the value of the Z-axis to 4000%. Now adjust size. Now we will adjust these image. Let's keep this layer's Z-axis value at 3600. Now adjust the position and size as shown. I created an Instagram logo animation using rounded rectangles and applied a drawing process effect to it. You can download it from description. Now we will adjust this logo size and position. Move it here. Now add the camera. Active the camera. Now at the first frame of this layer, add the position and rotation keyframes. Move 20 frames forward and add the both position and rotation keyframes. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the rotation and adjust the camera's Z-axis position as shown. If necessary, please adjust the position of the camera's X and Y axis. Let me adjust a little bit more. I adjusted the chess image layer's Z-axis position to 2500. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we will add the text. Adjust the text position and size. Now move to the frame number 1.10. Here add the position and rotation keyframes. Now adjust the rotation and Z-axis position of the camera layer. If necessary, please adjust the position of the camera's X and Y axis. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now unhide this layer. Adjust this image's position and size as shown. Let's start this layer here. Now we will create fade in animation to this layer. Let's add an overlay. Let's adjust it. Now blend this layer mode normal to screen. Let's create multiple copies of this layer. Adjust them as I shown. Now at this frame, select all layers and trim them. Let's trim this side also to overlay layers. Now export the animation. Import exported clip here. Import exported clip at this frame. Now we will create fade in animation to this layer. Now we will move to the next animation. I have created a new project for this animation. And also, I added my files to the timeline. This animation's duration must be one second. Please ensure all layers have a duration of one second. Before doing anything, first we will adjust these images size and the positions. Now here add a position keyframe to bodybuilder's image. Also add rotation keyframe here. Move 10 frames forward and add both rotation and position keyframes. 
Now at the last frame, also add the same keyframes. Now at the first frame, adjust the rotation and position as shown. Now move to the last keyframe. Here also adjust the rotation and the position as I shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we have something like this. Let's apply the auto shake effect to this layer. Keep the magnitude value to 25%. Now it's awesome. Now we will animate the background image. At the first frame of this layer, add rotation and scale keyframes. Add the same keyframes at the 10th frame. Now add the same keyframes here also. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the size as shown. Now move to the last keyframe and adjust the size as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Although I forgot to adjust the rotation, you can adjust it to create a stunning animation. Now we will desaturate this image. Add saturation effect for that. Now decrease the saturation value. Now we will apply one more effect called highlights and shadows. Decrease highlights value to 0%. Now desaturate background image also. Here I applied the auto shake effect to the BG layer also. Now we have something like this. Now add a rectangle shape. Adjust this shape as I show. Now apply blur effect. Increase blur strength to 2%. Now change the shape color to black. Now place it here. Let's decrease opacity a little bit. Let's trim it here. Now make a copy of this layer. Now place it here. Now we will add one more rectangle shape. Fit this shape into the canvas size. Now change color to black. Now decrease the opacity to 10%. Drag it here. Now trim it. Let's increase opacity to 30%. Now we will create text animation. As you can see, I added my text layers to the timeline. Now apply the text transform effect to the first text layer. Now add start keyframe here. Move five frames forward and increase the start value to 100%. Now expand transform properties. Here keep the offset we value to 150. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. If you don't want to create fade in animation using opacity keyframes, please decrease alpha value to a negative 100%. Now copy this effect. Paste it here. Move this layer position here. Now trim it. Now duplicate this layer. Drag it here. Now apply the blur effect to this layer. Now do the same thing for second text layer. Now select all text layers and group them. Let's create one more text animation. Here I have created my second text and I applied text transform effect to it. Also I applied text spacing effect. This will adjust the gap between texts Let's add a rectangle shape. Now adjust it as I shown. Now hide it. Select these two layers and group them. Now apply inner pinch effect to this text layer. Now adjust these effect values as shown. Now apply one more effect called RGB Split. Adjust it. Now start this layer from here. Now it is time to parent two text layers to the Bodybuilder layer. Select the text layer and tap on this icon here. Now select the Bodybuilder image layer here. As you can see guys, now this text following bodybuilder image layer. Here I have created fade out animation to this text layer. Let's adjust this text position. Now parent this text layer to the bodybuilder layer.
Let's adjust this text position a little bit more. Now select all layers and group them. Now copy this layer. Paste it here. Now here create fade out animation to the first animation layer. Now we will move to the next animation. Here I have a new project guys. First we will add a rectangle shape. Now fit this shape into a canvas size. Go to colors and select the gradient color. Here select the second gradient tool. Now adjust it as I shown. Now move here. Here add this clip to the timeline. I have created this clip in Prisma 3D app, which is a 3D modeling app for smartphones. Now adjust this clip size as shown. Drag it down. Now here add the opacity keyframe to this layer. Move here and decrease the opacity to 0%. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now move it here. Now trim these layers here. Now move 5 frames forward. Here add this hand image. Let's adjust it. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 10 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the hand position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now move here. Here change hand position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's adjust the hand position a little bit here. Now trim these layers here. Now we will add the text. As you can see guys, I added my text also. I animated my text using the text transform effect. Now go to colors, add a keyframe here. Move here and change the color to white. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's drag it here. Let's make this text animation a little bit faster. Now we will create fade out animation to the text layer. Let's move the color keyframe here. Now trim it here. Now we will create second text animation. Duplicate this text layer. Move it here. Now edit this text. Now remove all keyframes except the text. Transform effect keyframes. Now place this text here. Now extend this layer duration. Here add a position keyframe to this layer. Move here and change the text position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's create rotation animation. Now here add the creator's images. Now adjust it as I shown. Now we will add one more image. Now create fade in effect to creator's images. Now move this layer here. Now adjust the creator image's Z-axis positions as I have shown. Now at this frame, add position keyframes to both creator's images. Now move here and adjust image positions as I have shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now do the same thing for the remaining image. Now trim all layers here. Now bring it here. Also this one. Now select all layers and group them. Now copy it.
paste it here. Now we will move to the next animation. I have created a new project for this animation, and also, I added my files to the timeline. Before doing anything, first we will adjust these images size and the positions. Now trim all layers here. Here add a position keyframe to BG layer. Move 20 frames forward and add another one. Now add one more here. Now do the same thing for man's layer. Now apply the flip layer effect to the BG layer. Now here add the angle keyframe. Move 20 frames forward and add another one. Now add one more here. Now at this keyframe adjust the angle value as shown. Let's adjust the position also. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's adjust a little bit more. At the last keyframe, place it here. Now here, adjust a little bit. Now we will adjust the character image position. At this keyframe, place it here. At the last keyframe, place it here. Now we will apply the flip layer effect to this layer. Copy this effect. Now paste here. Now at this keyframe, keep the angle value to 15 degrees. Now apply motion blur to these layers. Set the tune value to 0.5%. Copy this effect. Now paste here. Now we will add the text. After adding the text, apply the turbulent displace effect to it. Keep the strength value 0.1% and add strength keyframe here. Move 15 frames forward and decrease the strength value to 0%. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now create fade in animation to the text layer. Now here add the strength keyframe. Move 10 frames forward and increase the strength value to 0.1%. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Trim it here. Now here we will create fade out animation to the text layer. Now duplicate the text layer. Edit your second text. Let's place it here for a moment. Now move it here. Now remove the opacity keyframes. We do not want to fade out animation to this layer. Also, remove these two strength keyframes. We don't need them. Trim it here. Now place this text here. Now select this text layer and tap on this icon here. Select image layer. Now it's following the image layer. Now do the same thing for the remaining text layer. Let's adjust the position a little bit. Add a rectangle shape. Now fit this shape into a canvas size. Go to colors and select the gradient color. Here select the second gradient tool. Now adjust it as i shown. Trim it here. Let's add an overlay. Let's adjust it. Drag it above the BG layer. Trim it here. Now blend this layer mode normal to screen. Let's create multiple copies of this layer. Now create fade out animation to BG layer.
Now select all layers and group them. Now copy it. Paste it here. Now create fade and animation to this layer. Now we will move to the next animation. Here I have created a new project and added my files to the timeline. Before doing anything, first we will adjust these images size and the positions. Now extend these layers duration to 2.25 seconds. Here add a position keyframe to the Monk image layer. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now add scale keyframes as shown. At the first frame adjust the image position as shown. Now at the second keyframe adjust the size. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Let's add rotation keyframes too. Now here adjust the rotation. Now here change the image position as shown. Also adjust the rotation. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now adjust the size. Now move here and adjust the rotation, position and size as I have shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now move here and adjust the rotation, position and size as I have shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we have something like this. Now apply the auto shake effect to it. Keep the magnitude value to 30%. Now here add a magnitude keyframe. Now here decrease the magnitude value to 0%. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now desaturate this image. For that add a saturation effect and adjust the saturation value. Now copy this effect and paste it on BG layer. Now select the BG layer and tap on this icon here. Select Monk image. Guys, the BG layer now sticks to the Monk image layer. I want it, but not exactly. Let's make some adjustments. Select the BG layer and adjust its Z-axis position as shown. Let's increase this value, maybe 5,500. Now increase the size. Now it's better than the previous animation. Now apply motion blur to these layers. Now here, add this image. Rotate this image to 90 degrees. Now parent this layer to Monk's image layer. Let's keep this image Z-axis position at 5500. Now adjust size. Let's keep this value to 11,000. Now apply blur effect. At this frame, add a strength keyframe. Move here and add one more. Now at this keyframe, decrease strength value to 0%. Let's decrease the strength value a little bit here. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now we will create text animation. First, we will add this banner. Now adjust it. Now apply replace color effect. Change the red color to white and the blue color to dark red. Now add your text. Place it here. Now we will create fade out animation here.
Now duplicate this text layer. Move it here. Now remove the opacity keyframes of this layer. Let's start this layer from here. Now edit this text. Here I have animated this text using the text transform effect, which I already used in the previous text animations. Let's create fade out animation here. Here I have created two more text layers, guys. Now add a position keyframe here. Move here and add one more. Now here adjust the text position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now animate this text layer. Now add a rectangle shape and adjust it as I shown. Now duplicate it. Adjust this shape as shown. Now move these layers here. Now hide these two layers for a moment. Now select these two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Now do the same thing for the remaining two layers. Let's create the fade in animation to these two text layers. Now duplicate banner layer. Hide it for a moment. Now select all text layers and banner layers and group them. Now drag it here and unhide it. Let's adjust the size little bit. Let's change this shape color. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 10 frames forward and change shape position as shown. Now edit your keyframes curves as shown. Now select these two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Now select the group layer and parent it to the monk's image layer. If it's not follows perfectly, adjust it manually. Now drag it here. Now select all layers and group them. Now copy it. Paste it here. I have created total five animations. Now it's time to add Light Leaks Overlay. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford the Light Leaks pack, so I downloaded some free Light Leak images from the internet. Now fits this shape into the canvas size. Now blend this layer mode normal to screen. Keep these light leaks image duration only one frame. Let's add more light leaks images. In this way add light leaks images to all animations.